It's umsum time. Why do zebras have stripes? Simple. Because I painted them. <laughs> Ooh, umsum. To buy umsum merchandise, visit umsum.com. <laughs> According to a recent study, zebras may have evolved stripes to huh? evade flies. Hmm. An experiment was carried out in Somerset, United Kingdom, using oh. brown or black horses, zebras, <laughs> and flies. Hmm. It was found out that zebras and horses both receive similar number of approaches from flies. Hmm. But far fewer flies actually landed on the zebras. After frame-by-frame -frame analysis of the videos, it was seen that the flies slowly decelerated as they approached the horses before making a controlled landing. In case of zebras, the flies failed to decelerate. They either flew past the zebras or directly bumped and bounced off them. Now, when striped coats were put on horses, the flies landed on the horse's naked head but flew past or bounced off their striped body coats. Thus, zebras may have evolved stripes in order to avoid flies. Hmm. Why do huh? animals' eyes glow in the dark? Because they have hidden torches. <laughs> nah. Uh -huh. Wait, I'll explain. Our eyes have a layer called retina, huh? which is made up of photoreceptors. When light enters our eyes, it hits the photoreceptors. Photoreceptors detect light, thus making it possible to <laughs> see. Hmm. However, the light oh. which doesn't hit the photoreceptors remains undetected. Oh, poor undetected light. Now, nocturnal animals like owls need to see oh. better during the night. Hmm. Hence, their eyes have another layer below the retina called tapetum lucidum. Now, when light doesn't hit oh. the photoreceptors, it reaches the tapetum lucidum. This layer acts like a huh? mirror. It reflects light back <laughs> onto the photoreceptors, thus giving them a second chance to detect light. Some of this reflected light also uh -huh. comes out of the animal's eyes, thus making it seem that its oh. eyes are glowing. <laughs> Can animals predict natural disasters? I don't know, dude. All right, I'll explain. It is believed that animals can hear certain sounds or detect certain changes prior to disasters <gasps> and thus perceive the upcoming danger. But how, dude? The initial activities which lead to earthquakes, tsunamis, etc. create infrasounds which arrive faster than the main shock wave. These sounds are inaudible to humans, but animals like flamingos, elephants, rhinoceros, etc. can hear them. Thus, they perceive the coming danger and probably escape. It is also said that the Earth's magnetic field slightly deflects before an earthquake. It is suspected that dogs detect this deflection and thus predict the arriving disaster. Some researchers also think that birds can foresee the approaching storm or tornado because they detect changes in atmospheric pressure, wind speeds, temperature, etc. Hence, they fly away to a safer place. Mm. Can animals get a sunburn? Yes, due to ultraviolet radiation of the sun, Animals can also get sunburns. However, to protect themselves from the harmful <laughs> radiation, different animals have different biological defenses. For example, reptiles have scales, birds have feathers. Animals like sheep, dogs, and cats have fur or hair. Sperm whales have a special protein. Fin whales have more melanin, etc. Does anybody have Captain America's shield? Oh, please listen. Some animals even produce certain substances to protect themselves from the harmful radiation. For example, hippopotamuses secrete a fluid made up of red and orange pigments. Some fish, amphibians, reptiles, and birds produce a chemical called gadisol. In addition to this, animals like rhinoceroses, elephants, and pigs take mud baths. It is said that mud acts like a physical barrier between their skin and ultraviolet radiation thus preventing them from getting <laughs> sunburns. How do animals hibernate? <laughs> Usually during winter. It is quite cold and the food is scarce. Ah. Hence, oh. in order to survive during winter, many animals snuggle up in burrows, caves, tree trunks, etc. and remain inactive as if they are in a deep sleep. The state of inactivity is called hibernation. 
and the animals which hibernate, such as bears, bats, groundhogs, ground squirrels, etc., are called hibernators. Now, during hibernation, many changes take place in their bodies. For example, their heartbeat and breathing rates slow down. Their body temperature goes way down. Also, many animals don't even eat or drink. Hmm. Instead, they eat a lot before hibernating and store the food in their bodies in the form of fat. Huh? Then, while hibernating, the hibernators use the stored fat to keep themselves alive in the winter. Depending on the species, some of them might not even urinate or defecate for days or weeks. Then, when winter is over and the climate is favorable, the hibernators wake up and perform their regular activities. Hmm. Do animals live longer than humans? No, only I have the potion of eternal life. All right, all right. <laughs> now listen, uh. when we are young, our cells divide rapidly to replace the old dying cells. They even fight against diseases and help us remain healthy. However, as we begin to age, the cells cannot efficiently divide and fight against diseases. Thus, eventually our lifespan begins to come to an end. Now, it is believed that animals live longer because of the environments they live in. For example, animals that live in cold oceans have slow metabolic rates. According to a study, slow metabolic rate slows down the aging process, thus making those animals live longer. For huh? example, Greenland sharks, which are found in cold Arctic oceans, can live up to 400 years. In addition to this, it is observed that the size of an animal also plays a role in determining its lifespan. Smaller the animal, more are the number of predators. Hence, the risk of dying early is high. Thus, animals like mice have a lifespan of about 1 to 2 years as compared to elephants, whose lifespan is about 60 years. However, animals like bats and some other birds are an exception to this size rule. <laughs> Even though they are small, they don't die early and live a longer life because they have evolved strong defense mechanisms. Moreover, it is also observed that some species which breathe fewer times per minute seem to live longer. For example, a tortoise which takes about 4 to 5 breaths per minute lives for more than 100 years while a dog, which takes about 24 breaths per minute, lives for approximately 10 to 20 years. Also, according to a study, very small species of animals like flies and worms lack the cells which divide and replace the old ones. Hence, they don't live a long life. Hmm. What if all animals disappeared? Huh? Then I will also disappear. No, wait, I am confused. Oh, I'm um, some. Firstly, planet Earth is inhabited by billions of mammals and birds, trillions of insects and fishes. It would be impossible to imagine what Earth would look like if all animals disappeared. Huh? Mm. Secondly, more than 90% of the human population consumes meat. If all animals disappeared, huh? they would have no choice but to turn vegetarian. Mm. Thirdly, Livestock industry, meat industry, zoos, national parks employ millions of people. If all animals huh? disappeared, they will have to look for new jobs. Mm. Fourthly, millions of people around the world own a pet. If all animals disappeared, huh? pet owners would need to nurse their broken hearts. <laughs> Lastly, animals as well as humans have evolved over billions of years and have become part of a delicate food chain. If all animals disappeared, the entire huh? food chain will collapse. Mm. Why are tigers orange in color? Simple. I painted them orange. <laughs> oh, I'm some. Humans are trichromats, as in their eyes can process red, green, as well as blue colors. Hmm. Hence, to humans, the tiger appears orange in color. Hmm. But deers are dichromats as in their eyes can only process green and blue colors. This effectively makes them colorblind. Mm. Now, this actually helps the deers to see better in dim light, but because of this, the tiger appears green to the deer. <laughs> now, this proves to be advantageous for the tiger as it creates an effective huh? camouflage for him. 
his green color matches with the background, thus huh? making it harder for the deer huh? to detect the tiger. Mm. Hence, tigers have evolved to become orange in color. Mm.